loss, but I think at a certain point you have to be realistic. So I'm happy with how they turned out. I thought um, maybe a couple of games could have been a little bit closer and that the score wasn't inherently indicative of the level of play. But you know, it is what it is. And I think we took big strides in the last few years. And uh, I can be happy with the effort that we put in while not being completely happy with the result. Just realistically, I think the Canadians are going to win. I have a few friends on that team, and I think their level of play is very high in, in their experienced team. But I'm rooting for uh, some of the underdogs. You know, like after today, I think Slovakia has a good chance. I mean, they're, they beat the U.S., you know, so we'll see. You know, everybody wants to root for an underdog. I think that's why a lot of people wanted us to win, even though we didn't. Well, I think me being here is the biggest sign that it's paid off. Just the past few days, I've done some thinking, and, and I'm disappointed in myself because I think I could have been better than I am now. But I was still good enough to be here and, and participate in all this, and uh, so I'm happy about that. And I think just for this, all the years of hard work and sacrifice, not just from me, but from my family as well, has paid off and um, yeah I just I don't have to say thank you to them because they know it's less impactful if I have to say it out loud so I think, I think they've done a good job whether it's my hockey or piano or, or any other field of balancing the right sort of motivation for me it's cliche to say but it's the truth that I, I couldn't have done it without them obviously for younger kids I want to say like if you have the support of your family if you have a knack for the game and you have a talent for it you should absolutely pursue it because you don't want to let your parents down you know because they they're always going to support you, you know, I think. So for me personally, like I, I'm very proud of my accomplishments. I think I'm more proud that, that I think of them more as my parents' accomplishments, you know, because they raised me and they sort of guided me towards the right direction. So I think a lot of kids, just be thankful for your parents giving you that sort of guidance and don't let them down. With the Winter Olympics happening, obviously things have spiced up and, you know, grown a little bit. And I, I hope it keeps doing this because I don't want hockey to go back to being in the dust the way it was before. Certainly for the last few years, winter sports have grown more popular, but I hope that if this trend can continue instead of just ebbing and flowing. I honestly think we need to have our own league, have a college yeah. league to copy what North America is doing with this sort of system. And that's the only way the sport will ever grow. If we keep doing what we're doing now, it's just going to continue being the way it is now. There's a quote I really like. The quote is, uh, if you only do what you can do, you'll never be more than you are now, which is a great quote, but it's from Kung Fu Panda. So... Yeah, so the same thing with Chinese hockey. If you just keep doing what we're doing now, we're never going to be better than we are.